Hey yo. Welcome back to Underground Nerd Nation. What it do? We back. In good time this time too. <laughs> In good time. <laughs> True story. We made good time this time. Hey. <laughs> well, appreciate y'all coming back. Uh I'm Keston, aka DJ Nexus. I'm Cam to aka Popeye's Biscuits. <laughs> Sorry. So, but, yeah, there was something that happened off camera because <laughs> with the Popeyes biscuit that y'all just had to miss. I'm sorry. We I wish almost I was lost recording. Ash. Yeah. <laughs> he almost <laughs> he almost suffocated. Patrick was about to take the Ash's spot a minute ago. <laughs> he needs some milk. <laughs> All this because you wanted to eat on camera. Well, probably gotta eat. <laughs> It's good too. I'm Adrian. <laughs> I'm Patrick, aka Mr. Phenom. <laughs> I'm gonna let you finish your fry. I'll let you let you get that down. Fucking dash from the fifth floor. <laughs> it was all in the mic to it. <sighs> like man, I'm about to hear all that. That's, that's my induction right there. Or that is. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Um, oh, but anyways. So we got to talk about it. Let's do it. We got to talk about this Melly Mel diss track. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. That shit dry as a Popeye biscuit, <laughs> brother. <laughs> you know what? I got one piece, too. With the straw, with the grape jelly, baby. You know oh, boy, don't die on camera. <laughs> right? <laughs> 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 we all turn to him with concern. Right? Like, What's cup got the water? <laughs> Yo, I got you right here. Right, that should be slow, that should be up. enough. That should be enough. Just enough. Whoever thought water would be an emergency <laughs> medical device? <laughs> Listen, anybody out there biscuit. they can eat a whole Popeyes biscuit without no drink, but you are there's you are not from this earth. <laughs> matter, matter of fact, you know what? I you, propose. I propose a challenge. You finish a whole box of Popeye's biscuits without no water. I will send you a shirt. You Don't are. Do a, that. You are. A, Don't do that. You are a, turn the concrete in your stomach. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. But you might have a lot of people just might have to go to the hospital. They're like, why? It's a sudden influx in the ER. And why are all of them grasping for air? It's all for a shirt. <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't have did it. It wasn't worth a shirt. Oh, oh. Challenge completed. <laughs> I don't personally know anybody that's made it more than like two biscuits. I didn't anything. make it past one biscuit. Like, it, like, like, like halfway through the biscuit, I'm like, where's the water? At some Where point, the sh- consistency turns to Play-Doh. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> So you dry. just you just sitting there smacking. If somebody finishes that, they need to go to jail because that that's that's <laughs> psychopath. That's illegal. <laughs> Obviously psychopath. Yo, I, Obviously yeah. Psychopath. You need to be admitted because they ain't no way. But yeah, no, that diss track was <laughs> horrible. You know, it's supposed to be spicy, but this is not spicy at all. <laughs> <laughs> that's because your mouth's trying to get acclimated back to fucking the, the saliva. <laughs> the, the biscuit took the shit. <laughs> what I said before camera. That's why I did shit like that. The fuck you? Yeah. That was for you. You already knew I was about to say something? Mm-hmm. Oh. I know you now, that's that clear point. Is that, <laughs> that mug was on you before you before he even choked. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. He stayed Batman prepared. He saw you eight chess moves ahead he of your sure game. Did. <laughs> you had prep time. Mm-hmm. Now, first off, I just the lost episodes came out. Thank you. First off, I don't have a replacement. So fuck you, Patrick. <laughs> and you, yeah, of course, I, you know I was gonna say something about you. <laughs> oh, you don't remember? No, I don't remember. But that's obviously okay. he don't remember. <laughs> of course, okay. he wasn't gonna remember. But that's okay. That's true. You Insert know. replay here. <laughs> okay, go ahead. There's nothing personal, <laughs> right? It was just for that time I was replacing you. Just for that no, time. Own it, man. <laughs> How Skip say it? Own it. It was personal. I like it. I'm gonna throw a fucking <laughs> biscuit at you, baby. I'm gonna 
throw that bad boy right at your face. You know what? To take all that grease. Good. I got some. That, that's that, that light skin alliance. <laughs> Patrick was just on. I was like, nah, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> you did. You did step in for light though. I appreciate you though. So. <laughs> Sorry. So, belly mail. Belly mail. I was waiting for him to break out with the hip hop. To the hip, to the hip, hip hop. You yeah, don't stop. Hey, welcome to the bang, 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 bang. boogie it up. Jump to the boogie to the boogie to the boogie to beat. I was like, where's Kid Play? They about to come out. Right? Hey, I was looking for Curtis Bow to come in and start talking right about buses again. <laughs> so, if anybody don't know, Eminem just signed a guy named Easy Mill, which is to get signed by Eminem, you had to be. You good. You got to be. Pretty damn elite, yeah. and Easy Mill, he's nice, like he's nice, and so they came out with a song called Realist. If you ain't heard it, go go listen to it. My fire, goodness. my goodness, Eminem just spazzed. Which spazzed. With, with that being said, that Eminem shouldn't have did that to that boy, because I was listening to Easy. He can rap, homie can spit. Yo, yo, homie, nice. But when you get on a track with Eminem, first of all, to be on a track with Eminem already, Eminem is like an eclipsing rapper. Like he bodies whoever all, he's on the track. I only with. know two people he did not body. Who is that? Wayne. And you can say what you want, but I don't think he bodied Jordan Lucas and Lucky You. Mm-mm. That's the one I was gonna say too. Lucky You. I was but gonna Wayne, say Buster he made Rhymes Wayne. too. He made Wayne go oh, back and rewrite he is. Yeah, he did. not. I mean, not like him telling Wayne to go rewrite it. But like, no, okay. but Wayne, Wayne was like, he is himself, "Nah, I gotta do I gotta something." Go back and yeah. But the same thing happened with a uh, with Busta and him on a calm down. Okay, it they was on an extinction level event too. They both went back and forth like two times rewriting their verses because Adding it was like more bars like, each time. Nah, you not getting me. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a respect factor. Though, when Busta said that, he's like, "It's you know, it's the game we play, but it's." It's so much respect that he has for him and M has for him. So, but M has bodied Dan everybody. Harry. Oh my God. There's there so is, many. there is literally only a handful of rappers that I, that I truly believe could stand toe to toe with Eminem. As far as what though? Lyricism or like battling? Lyricism. Oh, battling? Lyricism? Nah, maybe. And I'm putting like heavy emphasis on maybe, maybe Kendrick. When you talk about battling. Cause the way that mother freestyle on the BET Awards when he was going after Drake, that's maybe. Yeah, but Kendrick. isn't Drake an easy target though? He is. That's why. I, that's why but I said he? maybe. Is but, Drake an easy target? But but so. but a lot of people don't want smoke with Drake because Drake has bodied a lot of people in some diss tracks. That's what yeah. I said. Is but he an easy it's just target? Pusha T just. Pusha T. Pusha T went below the belt. That's <laughs> right. When, when you're diss I mean, track. it's it's fair. Every everything's fair in love and war. But you did hit below the belt. But I mean, I mean, back to back is classic. When you can become oh number God. one off a of dish, the Nicki Minaj and the Remy Ma thing, Drake thing was so bad that Nicki Minaj didn't want the same thing. So she made sure that to tell Lori that it can't happen because she knew that shit was gonna yeah. be. That's how iconic Drake disc was. That shit's crazy. It's just a diss track. But it then it's probably some. Uh, you went to a concert. Probably some random beat Forty had in the back of his hard drive from like years ago. It's like, hey, yo, let me get that real quick. Your concert, you played that song at your concert, and it was live. Everybody was singing. But that's crazy. not only did he put out a song back to back. Did y'all see the the artwork for the song back to back? Oh, it was the Blue Jays, it was uh, the Toronto, Toronto Blue Jays, Blue Jays mm-hmm. beating the Phillies <laughs> for a second time back to back. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. bad. Mm-hmm. My man he, went. He, he, went, he, he killed me. Yeah, he took he, an he extra killed. step in the yeah. He killed, me. killed me with that <laughs> but, one. But anywho, on the realist though, Eminem took a jab. Well, at first he talked about Gen Z, and the way he talked about Gen Z, I was like, "Oh man, this is '96 again." He went back <laughs> to Slim Shady, <laughs> right? Come on, some go get your guns and go shoot up the schools and stuff like that. I'm like, "Oh, oh my no. god, <laughs> what just happened?" And then he killed the game in two lines, yeah, and destroyed Melly Melly. What happened to the lines. game? I ain't heard nothing from the game in forever. Because the game, the game has w- fell off. Because the game, this the Eminem <coughs> effect. The game went after him. Oh, did it? And it went after it. He, but the thing, what was weird about the way the game went, went about him is that when you listen to it, it's like 
Do you He's have almost a crazy. Yeah, do you have a problem with Eminem or are you like Yeah, cuz I didn't think it was Jock like, riding like <laughs> cuz you talking about like the Black Slim Shady yeah, song cuz like, it almost sounded like he was to be honest, the way I heard the song, it almost sounded like he was openly being jealous of M's success as Slim Shady. Because it was almost like he was rap he was rapping like Eminem back in the day. Mm-hmm. And he was rapping as if he was Eminem. Like he was trying to impersonate him. And I'm like, bro, it sounds like you hating. He sounded like Stan. Like <laughs> like yeah. listening to him, I thought about Eminem song <laughs> Stan. And I was like, that is the game right now. Yeah. But that's that, exactly that, what it sounded but like. That's the problem with game. He he's always hating on some shit. Like he's always so butthurt about shit. That's what kills me. Very emotional. That's he, why I like Kevin Gates. He, Kevin Gates don't give a well, shit. Well, he got so hurt because <laughs> of the, the he said this in. Um, I don't like his music. Was it Drake Champs? Him. He was okay. an interview on Drake Champs. Um, like he was hurt because he was not part of the halftime show that was in L.A. Oh, uh, I do remember that. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, he was hurt. Why he wasn't said, he in that? Because there was a reason behind because that. Because the game is irrelevant. Fact. No, you there was say, another reason. To put him in that. Well, I mean, him and 50 been beefing for the longest. That's what it was. Well, see, it was because of 50. Well, well, he did kill 50 when they was beefing. Though. He, that beef. That 300 bars yeah, and running? Dude, yeah. that 300 bars and running. Yeah. Is game killed him then, but either way, you're talking about him. He's not going to choose the game over having 50 in no, never that. In the no. halftime no. show, like that don't make sense. Hell, J. Cole just just what t- t- uh, tipped his hat to uh, Fifty Cent recently. There was a there was a war show and he oh and I guess he said Fifty I guess Fifty's been running. But I mean, a lot of people have. I mean, most people in hip hop have a lot of respect for Fifty just because not only because of what Fifty did, where his debut album was concerned, because Get Rich or Die Trying, yeah. forever classic. Top five greatest albums. Yeah, like rap it's, albums. It's forever. I mean, a classic. you can honestly say that because it was. But I mean, when they hit the streets, man, it was. Mm-hmm. It was instantly popular. It was <laughs> it insane was, how fast it was, it was popular. Yeah, don't popular. be in New York. That shit was popular. That shit was jumping on everybody's shit. Because I think I was in New York when it, when um, it came out, and sh- man, dude, I, I was about to say between was bumping. between Wankster and uh, Many Men, Many Men, and uh, in the club. That was a rap. In the club messed everybody up. Everybody that was in that, like trying to make yep. club music, club yep. bangers, in the club. But with Dre producing mm-hmm. and Fifty spitting, nasty. I still, love, I still love Many Men on there. Oh yeah, you would. <laughs> Yo, yeah, Many Men was fire. That whole album was. Which death upon me, oh, Donald Crano. But anyways, we say all that to say. Eminem kills just about everybody. <laughs> right back. <laughs> yeah, Eminem back kills just over. about everybody that he comes. Everybody. He comes in competition with. At this point, I don't understand why any rapper goes and says, "You know what's a good idea? Let's go after Eminem. Somebody yeah. will help me write a diss track." Because they put this thing out of they're everybody. Like, they're like, like, all the rappers you could have went after, you go after M. Well, like how, you go after the guy that's ended. Oh my God! Well, M that said that so you do it words. to make yourself famous for us a little bit. That's why. That's basically what he says. And then I kill your career. And you were just getting fame for a little bit, right? Isn't that technically what he's doing? But see, here's my thing. Let's let's say that for a second. That's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. Let's say for a second that me thinking that I'm like, oh, if I go after him, I'm gonna get famous real quick. Yeah, you are, but your career is gonna end abruptly after that. Yeah, because he done killed Ja Rule's career. He killed Benzino's career. Some of y'all don't even know who Benzino is. <laughs> I didn't. That's how bad he killed his career. <laughs> I didn't. Me either. <laughs> I didn't for the longest. I mean, not until not until Benzino was the he made the 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 source. No, he Max owns Zino. the source. He didn't. Yeah. He didn't create I'm it. I'm not post. He bought it. I believe. I was a day old. Either when way, I found out about this. Either way, it don't matter. He that's destroyed what he ICP. He just uh, insane he? cloud posse. That's what. But who was he beefing with before Machine Gun Kelly? Nick Cannon, right? Yeah, Nick Cannon don't count. Yeah, but Nick Cannon uh, Nick <laughs> assembled Cannon, the wax to be team honest, of rappers. Just, to be yeah. honest, Nick Cannon is kind of like... Only career he hasn't ended. Yeah, Nick Cannon like, is kind of like bulletproof to Eminem. He never had, his, he but never that's had only a rap be, career for real, but yeah. like his career as a whole, like you're not going to end wild now. And, that's, no. and even <laughs> at that, like... I love Nick Cannon. I would love to meet that man one day, you know, and have an actual discussion with him, because the man is a smart businessman. Mm-hmm. But... There's this thing with him where he's like always been somewhat corny. 
You know what I mean? He is, and not even not even disrespecting being corny le- because I feel like <laughs> he's legendary corny. <laughs> yeah, it's not, and it's not like I'm disrespecting people that are corny because hey, <clears throat> you just most people that are considered corny are just not hood or just not gangster. You know, they just not in that lane. They over here in this comedic lane. So yeah, he's corny, but. That man's corny with a big bank account. <laughs> so, yeah. hey. And apparently that wins because he yeah. got 18,000 baby mamas. <laughs> yeah. So. It's like, obviously he doing something and right. Mariah Carey's and he had he got a baby with Mariah Carey. That's, that's Twins. That's, Twins that's, with Mariah Carey. That's like, block for life right Obviously there. corny is working somewhere. That's corny works. <laughs> but I say all that to say, that's the only man that's like bulletproof to Eminem. But that's just because we not, not, yeah, we not I, looking for that from him. I was about to say, it's yeah. not music that you... Take it from him. It's yeah. all the other this stuff. This man, yeah. Nick, literally had four battle rappers that's on his while and out. All make a diss track to Eminem. Four mm. battle. I'm talking about. I remember that. Legit. Legendary. Yeah, because Clips. Charlie Clips. Charlie Clips oh, is a monster. Oh, yeah. I see his street battles. Conceited that? is nasty. Yeah, conceited. Hitman Holla, disgusting. <laughs> like, these dudes are. I was about to say, Hitman Holla is disgusting. And he's like. Uh-huh. He's like. If if I had to pick him, he's like third on that list of battle rappers from Wild and Out. Yeah, but Charlie Clips is but Charlie, Charlie Clips is free. Is free. Boy, <laughs> when I that mother heard one from uh oh man, I wish I could Rosenberg. He took my man Rosenberg and like changed his whole name and made it about like five guys and a burger and all this stuff. <laughs> like he like, said, oh my gosh. Cause the, I was about to say Patrick showed us to me. He said the the bar I can't remember <coughs> how, what he rhymed it with before, but he said I don't need five guys to put Berg in the ER. You know, flipping his name to make it sound like burger and five guys, obviously like a big burger. I'm that's, like, who thinks of that? Jesus Christ. And I mean, and then, like, he was, he, like, like I said, he was taking his name. He was like, I will ice Berg like a lettuce or something like that, yeah. like the Titanic. And then he flipped his name and was like, I sick the pits on Berg. Make them lay still. Something like, oh my goodness, it was. No, oh no, something. Some, I will sick the pits. Something Pittsburgh. <laughs> it was man, like he was like playing said, with this man, man's name, like front ways, back ways, left, <laughs> left yeah. and right. No, like okay, so even with the setup, real quick, with the setup with the five guys, he was like, I'll put, I'll put a hole in your shirt, make it like a tomato slice, slid down your shirt, <clears> and then something about put cheese on his head. It was. I wish I could remember. He put a whole burger like skin to it, <laughs> then put burger in the ER. I was like, oh my goodness. He wrapped it together like SpongeBob but, makes crappy. But, but you know yeah, what? Really, like, like, the, my man is the, amazing. He is he is insane. Like he would be the only one that let's just say we'll go back to him being a battle rapper and he'd come to that scene. That would be crazy. That would be wild. Because yeah. that that would be a ooh, that would be wild. Yeah, that yeah. Would, good money. But, that would be, yeah. but this is the shit that Eminem has said in song form. When he was talking about, like, you know, Nick Cannon, he's a... Eminem was like, this shit's trash. She didn't even respond back to him. But in a song beforehand, you know, Eminem was talking about Mariah Carey and Nick. And <laughs> he said in there, I will cut my balls off before I lose to you, Nick. You like saying that, you, though? Nick? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like... I, oh, who the f- think so. Who thinks of that shit? Seriously? Yeah, I mean, even like my favorite M, bar from like the, it's just M. That's just, that's just, like, my favorite bar from Kill Shot is when he said he said something about calling niggas out, but you Swayze talking about Patrick Swayze because mm-hmm. he released Kill Shot on the same day Patrick Swayze died. Oh, <laughs> that went over a lot of people's head. It went yeah. over mine. It went over mine. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like it, it took it took somebody like pointing out it was like y'all realize the reason said calling niggas out, but you Swayze. Or not? He didn't say Nick. What do you say? I thought I said he definitely didn't say. I was, <laughs> but I do what you mean. Damn, I can't remember. But he says call, something, something, something. But you Swayze, and it took somebody pointing out. I was like, I realized he said Swayze because Patrick Swayze died on the same day he released Kill Shot, which is the diss track for MGK. I'm like, <laughs> who thinks like that? Like even. Eminem might be a legit psychopath. He keeps talking about it in his verses that he's psycho. You might be a legit psychopath I think for you to right, stop right, and yeah. think he has like some that. Shit. He is nothing but double and triple entendres. That's all day. That verse where he was talking about putting cotton nails into your coffin, but it's like 
cotton nail like the tissue paper or cotton nails, which would be super <laughs> soft. Like it's just, he was just playing with the words in every verse of that song. It's insane. Yeah. So yeah. So and Nelly Mel, you came back with this. Oh, drop the beat. <laughs> I'm gonna get ya. You're a sucker. Wash my pants down with no with no usher. This is all I saw. This. When I heard him like, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I was waiting for somebody to come out the back and do it. <laughs> I'm like, respect the male and Fury Five and being the, the the basically the Godfather of rap, but. <laughs> Yo, and well, and bro, to be to be fair, on, I will still forever respect Melly Mel for what he did. Of course, mm. but that track was whack. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I would have known it before. <laughs> the, I wish I would have listened to his stuff before the year, because now that, it's hard for me to. Be yo, like, that shit would have been fire in '85. Though, <laughs> <laughs> if he nope, would came at uh, somebody with that in '85, not '85, '75, maybe '75, '75. Yeah, nah, I don't think '85. That's. Nah, that when, that's like when That's like when Rakim and them was out yeah, like, Rakim went out in 85 oh, Rakim was out in like 90s oh, No on. but I want to say Rakim like the Busta was, was out the, in 85 Huh? Busta Rhymes? No Yes No like the, Yes the Yes He rapped in a group I can't remember what name of the group was But he rapped in a group in the 80s I'm yeah. trying to tell you Bro rap was just getting started in, in, in the 80s just getting started. I know. Music he still ain't getting away with that disrespectful bullshit. Hmm? Rakim's rap group, Eric B and Rakim, started in 1986. Yeah. But they didn't hit big till like 91. I think it was well, close to like. went to 93. Yeah, I think it was more like 89 when they really started blowing up. But either way. Okay, 75 then. I was about to say. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, they it's, they I'm still talking about that. in 1987. Hmm? Paid in full came out in 1987. They first album. Mm. Okay, but I, the only reason I'm saying that is because the the flows and everything was starting to change by mid 80s. That <clears throat> that type of flow he was doing was like <laughs> late 70s at best. <laughs> Maybe now, early 80s. For the kickback. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe early <laughs> 80s. <laughs> but that that flow is old. I'm old, gonna get old. you, your mother yeah. sucker. Yeah, but when he's, <laughs> watch me turn around <laughs> and pull my pants up. <laughs> was it, was pull up my sit bone. Take a picture. These are the brain. <laughs> break it up. Break it up. Break it up. Break down. <laughs> Didn't Uncle Ray say one time he thought Curtis Blow was the best rapper? I think so. <laughs> I think so. That's what he said. Every time I think about Curtis Blow, I was like, my Uncle Ray said he was the greatest. I was like, he made a whole song about breaks. <laughs> and it wasn't like. He's, these are the brakes. Break it up, break it up, break that. Brakes on a school bus, brakes on your car. <laughs> brakes. You, you give me an automotive lesson? What you? <laughs> but once again, that's what I thought about. Yo, respect to Curtis Blow. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he was making he was making pop music. That's really yeah. all he was doing back then. Anybody that was rapping back then was usually trying to make some type of pop mu- uh pop money. So it worked. He made a fun you know, song. And because of him, we have other rappers today. You know, hip hop is what it is because of them, of what they did. Facts. But at the end of the day, if I, I wish I would know him before this, because now I'm just sitting here like, boy, this is what we have. <laughs> this is our, this, this is our rap guy. This man said, "Oh my god, this man really thinks he's the greatest rapper of all time." I mean, I said, which is you look bad because the ropes come out your bit bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> You got roaches like, crawling out of your book bag. That's like stuff you like, say you in making, middle school. You like, making fun of somebody's poverty? What, like, like, what do you do? <laughs> like, come on, bro. It is it. I, I got a lawyer so white, he will take your land. <laughs> that is like, oh, oh, oh. I was like, I don't, I don't know if you being racist or oh if God. like your mind is stuck back in this. Like, we got <laughs> black lawyers now. Like, we got really good black. We got really good like. Oh. Multicultural lawyers. Yeah, like, why, why did he have to be so white? Why he had to be so white? <laughs> that man is white. <laughs> That's why he have to be so white. That is like, that's fucking Norwegian white, bro. That's like that's where no sun goes white. <laughs> that's, that's 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 a bar that made that's a bar that made Hitler say this nigga spitting. 
<laughs> they got a grand wizard like yes my brother hire him <laughs> he is a general now this nigga spitting, is this nigga spitting? <laughs> oh sorry you got to put the oh. this nigger spitting <laughs> No. Anyway, this Sam this Jackson. Coon, oh, sorry. This coon is spitting. This moon cricket spitting. I just heard that the other day. I was like, what the fuck is a moon cricket? I thought a way to get canceled. But we about to get, yeah, we about to get canceled like crazy. Rainbow blur right here. <laughs> Who's that nigga up on that now? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga on that night. <laughs> oh, shit, fine. I can't see that. This boy, motherfucker. That was, boy, that was definitely an Uncle Ruckus line right there. <laughs> oh, my face hurts from laughing so much. Well, they lucky the Boondocks is not. They they lucky the Boondocks is not on TV. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh, that would have that would have been oh, the most god. viewed episode. Oh, that been great. You know they with that, this, man. And Montgomery just <laughs> oh, and Montgomery, and Montgomery bro. Oh, that would have been. Uh, Matter of fact, been episode, uh, anybody else got anything to say about Melly Mel? Because I want to get on this Montgomery <laughs> brawl. Because that that shit had me <laughs> dying. When I tell you, I spent like hours on Facebook looking at memes <gasps> and other like other angles of the fight. Boy, when they put up Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> When they put Aquaman up there, oh, man. Yo, when they said that the hat's the new calling now, that's the saying. I was like, they keep I said, doing the Black Panther thing. They're like, dun dun dun. <laughs> what kind of? Fa- <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. Yo. Oh man, when they did the, uh, they cut. Mm, they cut when they was. Uh, when those five dudes was like squaring up with the two white dudes at the end of the dock, yeah, they did. They took that and then they put below it when uh the door Malaje was jumping off the ship to fight those blue people. <laughs> like they, <laughs> they said, y'all saw this, I saw this. I was like, yo, y'all are killing me. The internet <laughs> is so undefeated. Oh, it's yeah. so undefeated. One of the comedians was like, yo, I knew black people had a call. He said, but when they threw the hat. We found that's a new call for black people. It used to be, hoo hoo. Now we just throw a hat to the hat The hat is the, hat is the black this signal. This is the thing, though. Like, signal. Bro, on a serious note. And he threw it so no, high up. Oh, oh, somebody, somebody, but it was, somebody put a laser sight on a chair. Cry it, son. <laughs> Cry it, son. They put a laser sight. They was like, <laughs> <laughs> And he was walking around first person with a chair. Boy, Yo, I was no. the one. The one that got me was when the brother it said chair jutsu, <laughs> and he was outside in his yard with a folding chair, just <laughs> twirling that mug around like it's a sword. I was like, "Yo, black people, Boy, can, s- y'all need to be stopped. Y'all can't saw, take nothing I, serious." I saw, dude, you, bro. I saw one dude. He was walking into work. <laughs> He was walking with his chair. He was walking around fast. All the white people looking at him like, "What?" <laughs> I instantly thought of Boondocks episode. <laughs> that is, when, that would be the perfect Boondocks oh my God, episode. You know the episode's gonna when, blow uh, the fuck up. When oh. it was, um, what was the, what's the rapper name? Uh, oh man, uh, why can't I think of it? What the fuck? Thug Nificent. No. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, about to say, yeah. that's the only rapper yeah. I know. Well, no, there's, uh, there's, uh, there's, that there's, uh, a Gangsta Licious. Yeah, Gangsta Licious. Okay. Gangsta Licious, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, they, was at, they was at the BET Award, and everybody was cool, and somebody threw a chair. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody started fighting. Yeah, the whole thing was about the chair that was thrown, and nobody <laughs> knew who threw the chair. At the, at the end of the episode, everybody was cool, and then somebody throws a chair, and I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but, of that episode. You know the one thing I thought about when he took his hat because you notice like he cocked he it to the, it side, to the side, then he, he threw it. it. Why did he like to me that reminded me like Power Rangers because you know they do that uh, exaggerated thing yeah. before they change. They got to like, do it in it a sequence. Like. <laughs> it's more of a time. Like, that's, <laughs> that's the. Th- but like, I just stayed up is so that long. A, you run. Is, is that a no, yeah, it's, He threw that is, mug up. High. Is that like a hood thing or is that like I was like, is that? I feel like that's a country thing. Like is, yeah, that a, is that their signal like with the people he was working with? Like I need help. 
Like, well, is that? I have a theory. I think of that. And then everybody looked and said, "Oh, it's a hat." And like, I have a theory most about people this. People working is black anyway. Okay, so you know, there's like a stereotype that like most black people don't swim, right? Well, this dude throws his hat in a sequence, which signals the only passing by black people that know how to swim to immediately swim towards him. Because that dude was automatically in the water. Like, it was so that lady on, on go. That lady on the video, she was that boy swimming his ass off. <laughs> He, said, he got to the get up there, young buck. Get up there, young buck. Corey, but yo, the hold on. Let's talk. About, <laughs> all right, let's talk about some ass. <laughs> yeah, boy, and that boy, motherfucker, that motherfucker, that motherfucker, know he tired as hell when right, he got he there. there. Nah, hold on. All right, talk about some ass. <laughs> he might, he might have been tired, but that mug got stamina because he went over there and rock bottom somebody. <laughs> That mug, oh, yeah. that mug went up, and, he, and, the, and the person he rocked bottom was not small. That mug, at least two thirty pounds. You it see was, the dude though; he's not big at all. That's what I'm saying. Like oh, he was small. Yeah, he was small. And, you, small. and you're wet with clothes. What, what boots? Look after swimming and got yourself pulled yourself up out the dock. That's not easy. To do. This nigga, Yo. he swam over to the fight. Aquaman pulled himself up out. <laughs> <laughs> Aquaman or Michael B. Phelps? That's the right, other Michael one. They said. B. Michael B. Phelps. <laughs> That's the other one I heard. Then Yo, I heard, uh, scuba, the, scuba, 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 Yo, these names, they been killing it with these oh, names, bro. They was on it so quick. Oh. oh Yo, that, that, that dude that got whooped with the chair. That shit hurt me. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, you see the, the, the view from inside the boat was the oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That dude said, mm. My he man was waiting on a problem. He been waiting on that all week. <laughs> and he been waiting on that all week. The white people been bothering him. I bet, he I, bet you, I bet you Vince McMahon's like, I want him. <laughs> Get him out of jail. Now I need him on. I need him. Pay, pay his bail. I'll pay his Get bail. Get him to us now. <laughs> but there, there was also, I think that uh, Aquaman, I think he actually. He went, after he DD, uh, DDT after he rock bottom somebody. He, did rock he went over to fight somebody else, and then there was somebody that ended up on the ground, and he started like throwing like anime punches. Like when I'm talking about, he just <laughs> on somebody's head. I'm like, bruh. <laughs> He he been, somebody he get, he, he's been waiting. Uh, yeah. He's been waiting oh, his dang. no. He's been waiting his whole life. That mu- <laughs> that's a whole life moment. That was somebody called me a nigga in high school. Because <laughs> I mean, being in Alabama, you know, <laughs> that shit's probably every other day, right? He said somebody called me a nigga in high school, and I couldn't do nothing. I'm about to do something now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that man swam across the ch- the channel and went over there. I knew the water was cold. Boy, that water had to be cold. Yo, not, you know, be. Nah, it wasn't. Nah, it's Alabama. Alabama it's been summer. 110 degrees. What? That water was probably hot. Yeah. So? Hell yeah. I don't, know. No I don't think the water that was water. that hot. Shit. Now, mm-hmm. when he got out, I bet he was steaming. Especially <laughs> after, man, he... Uh, I just... Did you start a camera? Yeah. I, we in the middle of this. <laughs> Sorry. You know, I could be getting paranoid as hell. I'm like, man, what the hell? Nah, but... <laughs> All content gone. Uh, you In the podcast up right there. Nah, just I'm just <laughs> there was so many moments in that whole brawl. And the you know the crazy part is, is that there's fifty two different angles. Yeah. Everybody, Everybody it's like they're literally filming a movie set. <laughs> <laughs> With how many camera angles we got. Let me ask you a question. Soon. I mean we got the It'll beginning. Be we got how it all started. <laughs> are you joining or are you recording? What you gonna do? You right, you there. What you going? You going to join in? Mm. Are you going to be people to record it? I'm joining. You joining? Hell yeah. No, I'm probably joining too. I'm looking for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying you're using this event as right. a mental help? I am sick of my job. I've been ready to fight all week. <laughs> yeah. Getting out all my stress. Patrick gets it. I can't do shit else. <laughs> This yeah. is going to get me from not being in jail for so long. What's that? Uh, <laughs> you get to use this. This is a free pass. What's that thing this they got where you, you go into and you pay money to smash stuff? What's the smash the, house? Smash house. This is my smash house. <laughs> I am letting off every bit of anger I'm and stress and frustrated frustrations I've had. I'm just. You get a fist. You get a fist. See, you get a fist. Now <laughs> it's messed up because. <laughs> 
now that we know that this doesn't happen, if something like that happens again, and just say if I'm in the presence, and somebody, I'm going to go over there, and somebody's going to get hit with a chair, and I'm going to hit this man with the people's elbow. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to be dead serious when I do it. I'm going to drop that bitch hard. I'm going to like, <laughs> You gonna see Camden from the side? You gonna see Camden from the side? I'm gonna see Camden from the side. I'm gonna go run over and be the ringside, <laughs> so he can bounce off of me. I'm like, get that nigga. Get that. I'll be the announcer. Oh, he's got him on the ropes now. It doesn't look good. Is he gonna be able to escape? I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna drop kick somebody, and I'm out. I just want one drop kick. One drop kick. That's it. Hey, yo. <laughs> I was waiting on that Wrestling though. Wrestling is real. I was waiting on it the whole fight though, for real. I was waiting on somebody to get drop kicked into the water. There's always one. <laughs> I, I'm the one who's going to do it instantly. What you? What? That's what. That's what Adrian said. That's what Adrian gets back on the mic. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! <laughs> oh, right in the chest. <laughs> Fucking Jim Ross over here. Splash. <laughs> They're gonna oh feel God. that one, Johnny. Oh God! He just broke him. He just broke him in half. <laughs> he needs some milk. <laughs> I think I'm out because I'm gonna hurt myself getting up. That drop ain't gonna hurt when it hit the ground. That's gonna come out oh. there throwing fucking biscuits at people. <laughs> Dry up, bitch. <laughs> Throw them in the water and absorb so everything. <laughs> All, whole river gone. <laughs> what happened to the water? You see a big ass biscuit just pop up. I say the, the, hell? <laughs> the boat is just beached <laughs> at the bottom of the river that used to be there. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, 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 man. Biscuit man. <laughs> this guy. So he pop out the front niggas. Oh man. Nah, you should have known that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you asking for it. And then you go choke just, on it while you eating it. Just like the motherfucker said, that's Montgomery Brawl. You asking for it. I was about to say that was the thing. You could have ate Popeyes in front, just don't choke on a biscuit. <laughs> yeah. Like that was, <laughs> that was that was you taking your chances <laughs> with a bunch of niggas. You just sat there and choked this out. <laughs> <laughs> committed to this decision too because he broke it in half and placed jelly on it. He got to be willing to eat this biscuit to try and dress it up. Any, it's still gonna be dry as hell. Yo, he he was doing this. He's, I, I swallowed four. Of my <laughs> like, <laughs> like come on. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's go back. I need a shirt with a biscuit on it now. <laughs> New merch coming soon. Way. Oh man, don't give me ideas. <laughs> Look, notorious <laughs> biscuit. Bias. Bias cut. Oh, hey, no dad. apologies. <laughs> Go to the <race> track. <laughs> now get ready for the bit scrap. Look, Dash. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, they done messed you up. Cause just in those three seconds, I done came up with a whole biscuit man idea. It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna be on a shirt. <laughs> this time you can really say fuck you to Cannon because that mother gave me a good idea. You That's gotta, about to be on a shirt. Win this time. <laughs> You gotta make it like anime oh style. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, you gotta make Either it that or comic style. book style. Yeah, like that. You gotta wear it when it come out. That motherfucker got, got the biscuit utility belt. <laughs> I'm gonna put UA up under it. <laughs> <laughs> no, give, him, give him the hair like, like great, like great like juice. juice. <laughs> that motherfucker have That's what I was thinking about. That's what I was thinking about. Give him like one of those beer hats that goes around it, but it's got condiments in it. So when he drinks <laughs> different condiments, he gets different powers. <laughs> grape jelly. He got, a gra- jelly. he got a grape jelly on this side, strawberry on the other side. And honey on the honey back. On the back. <laughs> and mustard on the front, boy. We going in. Dad, you have become a whole superhero. Yeah, I'm fucking that quick. That quick. Y'all was stupid. Pass me a motherfucker. Where the beer at? Oh man, this hurts. 
I cannot believe that my Gerby ball happened. Like, uh, I can't. That was a lot just, of well, shit. Just keeps happening, but it, you know, everyone's like coming up happened. in arms and stuff like that. I just find it just absolutely comical that these <laughs> these folks keep trying to test us. Like it's it, it's like, yo, the shit ain't gonna happen no more. I have a theory. Hey, you know something? Go ahead. There was a certain song that was released not too long ago. Country song. Had a lot of uproar in oh. the north. Yeah. It was yeah. like Try It in a Small Town, something like that. There yeah. it is. Yeah. See, they had a lot of that energy in them. They was like, ah, we can do what we want. So if that state owned a boat <laughs> that's so registered to park in the spot, fuck around and find out with us. We from Alabama. And Why that dude I? said, I need you to move your boat. And that dude pushed him. And that dude said, Avengers! <laughs> A symbol. a symbol, and they got their jaws rocked. <laughs> and you know something funny about after they got their jaws rocked, What's they went that? to a hospital in Selma, right? Most of the hospital staff was uh, our complexion. Yeah, I heard about that. And they said, "Yeah, we can't be here. There's too many niggers." Yeah, <laughs> that's that's what yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's what their words was to the nurse that was attending there, mm. and so they, they called the scared. police. That's what what that his thing. Was. They called the police. The police was like, "Leave then." <laughs> like the police wasn't like having it. it was like leave Their you don't have to over. be here because neil is crazy they own their own business like they didn't think about this like you just killed your business oh apparently there was a uh, in the comments somewhere somebody mentioned like you know you just ruin your business by doing it. it was like he feel something about the white dollar is superior anyway something like that oh, i don't know yeah. how real that was i did hear because it could have been photoshopped but at the same time i'm like but it is alabama it was like we don't want your money we want white american dollars or something, something like, like that, that yeah and he was and like i, was I like, thought all money was green yeah like Terrible. all money spends bro but if you got that men- mentality you probably don't need a business anyway people that listen <laughs> yeah. to this podcast please listen closely Uh-oh. it's about to get real yeah let me get serious yo stop if you if you feel that way like don't listen to this one don't listen to this podcast period yeah that is good double job. on that. Facts. We all about love and loving one another and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So like if you listen to shit and you really have an issue with that, like yeah, if you really are like to your heart that, that damn ra- segre- the racist and and segregation and all that other shit, man, just go listen to something else. Yeah. Cause to be honest, I don't I don't I don't me personally, I don't want you listening to our shit or even comment or do anything like that because that's not the kind of love and kind of respect that I have for people. I got nothing but respect for these dudes. I know these dudes. There's not a bigoted bone in any of our bodies. Like, we treat everybody the same. I love That's everyone. All we want. I love everyone, and I just, I, it just sucks that we still live in a world that's always going to have that <clears throat> here. Well, not even in the world. Well, there's some parts of the world that's way worse than America. Go do your research. No, definitely. <laughs> But it's, it's, it's sad that a country like America still has that problem that bad. Yeah. And it, 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 it's, it's sad. It is sad. I mean, there are good people, but then there's just shit that, man, it's just sad that some people, that people still think that way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I say that every day. It's, it's, it's it, crazy, it's especially sad. when you go online and you see something like, yeah. like that, because... I know we we making jokes about it now, but when I first saw the fight, I thought I was about to see another one of those black man gets killed by a group of white people and they get off on a they, technicality. They jumped that dude. There was six people. On no, that yeah, dude. It, no, it was definitely he got jumped. Yeah, and if he would have if he would have been doing killed, his job. he's at work. And Probably if he would have got killed, it would be considered a lynching. <clears throat> like from the technical term of what a lynching is, that would have been a lynching. Yeah. Yep. Like he was doing his job, not getting and paid the, the kind of money he needs to be getting paid. Would have been only from the six people that was there. Yeah, because they could have flipped in and been like, "Oh, he was this. Oh, he was that." And all that but stuff. you know what's oh, crazy? I'm so glad they had. Video. But you know, it's yeah. this is why, this is why I feel like is if technology to this caliber with the camera phones is probably one of the greatest inventions ever. Yeah, because what you're doing now is exposing people, exposing yeah. these monsters, exposing these, these. These people that are just trying been hiding in the shadows for so long now. Comfortable in the shadows. Yeah, it's comfortable. Your shit is exposed. And you know what's funny is it's always somebody older that's used to not having to worry about this problem. Yeah. 
Like, you can just say to whoever was watching, you didn't see what happened here, or it's going to happen to you too type of attitude. And now everybody's got camera phones. You can't lie your way out of this. You ain't buddies with the sheriff no more. It's like that, you know, old town, buddy, buddy type good old Paying boy system. Paying to make videos yeah. disappear. Yeah. It was, like I said, they had like 50 angles of that same video. Dude, it was, it was literally it. like watching an actual WWE event. Yeah. <laughs> you had cats in the it was stands. Like, you had, the, you it know, was like it you was know the planned. camera that be on the, the string that be, that you had one of those. <laughs> that motherfucker had all kinds of angles. You had the motherfucker that was right up in the spot. You had the motherfucker that was over here. I'm like, yo. At this point in technology, I'm surprised we don't have drone video. It just surprised me that there wasn't somebody just hanging out of the dot flying a drone and just happened to, to see, see it. It's like, oh, snap, let me get this aerial view. <laughs> That's crazy. I'll tell you, but you're right. Because to be honest, technology has become some of a pain in the ass and sometimes, like especially with social media, Twitter, all that stuff. Yeah. But the fact that I can pull out my phone and I have a HD camera that can capture everything I need to capture in case of an emergency. And them new Samsung, they zoom in far. And they zoom in far. Hey, good, yeah. promo. good pro- promo for Samsung. <laughs> hundred times. Yo, shout zoom. out. They, they shout out Samsung. Far. Let's go, baby. Right? Android for life. Free phone for everybody. Yeah, I support that idea. Get Patrick on that, that thing by himself. <laughs> I would, I would love one. He on that perch like this. <laughs> I, I would love one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, would love one. <laughs> Definitely would take it. But no, man, it's good. It's good seeing us stand up for, for each other. Yeah, that too. Well. That too. That was major. I mean, the fact that, I mean, like you said, we making jokes, but the hat went up and the black people assembled. <laughs> the black people were there to, and it wasn't no black on black crime like yeah. we always are having to have that discussion about it was us standing up for us and against them and one <laughs> and one and, and one. well and <laughs> just proof that they started and it's their fault so now, yeah, now, he, now, don't, don't get a twist though when you say them we're talking about those people just happen to be white yeah now yeah. the antagonist the antagonist <laughs> yes because Cause I've seen a lot of TikTok videos and a lot of white folks that's like fuck around and find out. <laughs> that's what they keep saying. You know yeah, what I'm saying? And, like, and stop that point, shit. We're talking about, like you said, we're talking about the antagonists. We're talking about the people that were there, bucking against the man that was working and asking working. them to move their boat for the boat that actually is supposed to be right. It was like there. A steamboat, Every right? which way and they it was, was, the, in it was the a world. tour boat. Oh, okay. It was a tour boat that yeah. was. Supposed but they to be had their, right but there, they but they had they their were, personal boat there. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, mm-hmm. I heard, I heard which it was way steamboat they was, was wrong. That was supposed to be coming there. Though. I heard different boats. No, the boat that was supposed to be coming in was like a state-owned boat. It was like on a tour. Yeah, a bunch okay. of people. It was like registered that they were supposed to be in that spot. Uh, the boat had been sitting in the water for forty-five minutes, calling over the horn for them to come and move the boat. So finally, they sent a smaller boat with a dude that ends up getting jumped over to talk to the people about moving this boat and they say no we're not moving it he's like i need you to move it and then they jump him yeah well no it it was i mean there was more to it but he he was talking to them about moving the boat they didn't want to move the boat so they left the dock for a second so he was like all right i'm gonna undo your boat from the dock and and i'm gonna move it Mm -hmm. but from what i understand he only moved it like a few yards like it wasn't like he like sent it off the dock (laughs) It was still tied to the dock. He just moved it to like the other side of the dock so the boat could fit into its spot. Right. So it wasn't even something to really be fighting over. It was like he took, basically, you're he mad because he favor. touched your boat. Yeah. That's he, what you're mad about. He touched your boat and you was like, no nigga could touch my boat. Like, that's, that's what it was like. <laughs> what, what he could have done is he could have called the authorities and had them remove the boat and ticket them. <clears throat> or he can just move it down the dock a couple of feet. It's like, not that big of a deal. He's doing y'all a favor. And but, the uh, captain actually came on to an interview. Apparently, they've had run-ins with those same people before, like mm-hmm. multiple mm-hmm. times. Oh, so they were, they were overdue. Mm-hmm. So, so like, were entitled. Yeah. yeah. So they, it was like to a point where he was like, he knows there's always going to be a problem with this group of people. Mm-hmm. So in my opinion, you lucky homeboy didn't just park the boat over there and like destroy your pontoon boat because pontoons ain't really made out of nothing. Revoke his pontoon privileges. Revoke all his <laughs> all his marine license. aquatic licenses. licenses. That ass whooping was revoked. <laughs> That's enough. 
That ass whooping was enough. That no, nigga, it's not that, enough. That nigga crops were fucking fucking passes. <laughs> <laughs> that dude beat him through his shoes. I ain't never seen nobody. Get, I seen people get beat out let's, their shoes. But I ain't never seen nobody get beat I'm, through their shoes, you, man. If nobody seen the picture, this is dude. He he's his his foot is all the way through his crotch, <laughs> like all you know, the way up to his calf I, 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 com- I commented on one of the pictures. <laughs> you know how you say you put him in sports mode. <laughs> I said he put them motherfuckers in Flintstone mode. <laughs> it was crazy. He was laid out too. I said, "Dang, bro, you laid out too, and your feet." <laughs> it's a bad day. Bro. That is a bad day. Oh, boy. He beat that man out of his Crocs, through his Crocs, <laughs> through them. Because, like I said, it's one thing to get beat out of your shoes, like your shoes laying off to the side, still intact. He beat you so bad you couldn't get out of your shoes. You just went through them, and they're not tight at all. You no, know your right, toes hurt. They're bent right, right. to slide off <laughs> easily. His big toe hurt. Oh, uh, <laughs> His big toe hurt. 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 Oh, hurt. 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 But yeah, that whole fight was funny. Like I said, I'm glad. <clears throat> even because there, you know, there was also those people online talking about we should not be laughing at this and we should not be like praising this Promoting type of behavior. Violence. I was I like, no, either. I don't promote violence, but I promote get back. It's overdue. At the end, everything that's happened <laughs> I after, promote. in the past like couple of years, I promote overdue. defending. Yes, yes. That's all that I was. promote that was justice. That, wasn't, that was just that wasn't uh-huh. nothing but somebody bullying people, somebody. Yeah, them trying to bully he was the being worker <laughs> who was working doing his job, and y'all thought y'all was gonna sit up there and. I promote punishment for people that are making dumb decisions. <laughs> I was making dumb decisions. You're going to learn today. Yeah. That's oh. the belt. We need to bring the belt back. Oh, we right, 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 all right. <laughs> they go, learn today. <laughs> oh, yeah. Somebody ask grandma would need you to You asked me if I were going to join. Hell, I would have been the motherfucker swimming. <laughs> Soon as uh, I would have seen the hat go off. Uh, now, Cam, let's be real for a second. Because me and you both up there in age. Yeah, we're going to be over there on the side of that dock breathing our asses off trying to get air. <laughs> Listen, okay. <laughs> Both of my accomplices are winded. They are winded. They're winded. They're. I told just you. Just give them a minute. Let's rewind gonna be, that shit back. This could be me and Cam if we swam over there. Like, <laughs> Someone get him an inhaler. <laughs> you wait till I get my air. I'm going to whoop your ass. <laughs> hey, motherfucker. <laughs> Too much salt water. Who got a bottle of water? Shit. <laughs> he needs some Aquafina. <laughs> I'll be like, hey, 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 hold him. Hold him for me. I'm going to come get him. I'm like, fuck. There's people saying. Y'all give me a second. There's older people saying, yeah, I'll go with their ass. They'd be like, no, you wouldn't. They say, yeah, I would. For that 10 seconds, I'm going in. Not that 10 <laughs> seconds, 10 I'm seconds. done. <laughs> 10 seconds that of sweet ten, just That 10 seconds you're getting the roar of ass up in your life. Tag me in. Tag me in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tag me out. <laughs> Three solid swings of that chair. Tag me out. I don't know. Adrian and Dad just be, Gaston. Gaston, <laughs> come in. I was like, I'm tired too, bro. Okay. Right oh. Hold on. <laughs> get, a like, more, get a few more shots in for me. I'm like, yo. Keep the fight going so I can get my breath. Hold on, just, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, I whooped his ass, but that 10 second bag went in. Damn, like, I stubbed my toe. Right there. Yo, they're going to take my ass to the hospital and put me on oxygen because I'm going to be fucked up, bro. I'm going to be struggling to breathe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> After the cops then came and break it out, you walking off with a cramp. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having I went, muscle I went too spasms hard. from the fight. I'm laying in the bed, like, <laughs> having spasms. <laughs> we get a get a call from Adrian the next day, talking about, from uh, Jamie talking about Adrian got a back cramp. How you how you get a cramp in your back? <laughs> That's called age, Jamie. <laughs> what was he doing? He was throwing haymakers. When you, 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 hit, you, when you hit them thirties, it hit different. It hit different. <laughs> Meanwhile, Adrian jumped wildly into a fight and got automatically banged by somebody bigger than him. <laughs> hit him with a chair. <laughs> I was like, the pass me a chair. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Get him, Dash. I cannot believe that. But this week has been great. Oh, man. Uh, oh, my God. There's, what was the other subject you was had to ask us? Because I'm really intrigued by this. Oh, no, it had nothing to do with none of this. Before though. you say that, oh. I'm so sad with the lottery. 
Uh, yeah. I want you know, to I hit two numbers. There. Yeah, deep boy, you was close enough. I hit two numbers. You hit what three? Three in Powerball to get something, right? No, you hit you hit two numbers. You win some. Guess how much you won? Four bucks. Four dollars. <laughs> the fuck? I hit two numbers out of six. That is randomly generated. There's a billion different combinations. I went four bucks. I Yo. was hoping that you were gonna say maybe like ten, fifteen. Man, listen. I thought you was gonna. I really thought we talking about ten, fifteen dollars, ten, fifteen grand. Dollars. Like yeah. I, I knew it wasn't gonna be a whole. But, yeah, but I was gonna say, two, but four bucks, four, four, four dollars. That's crazy. Guess what I didn't do. Catching out, I was like, man, fuck this ticket. I'm so mad. It's crazy. Cause, cause <laughs> you should have played it again. When you see the chart of how much you win, somebody hit. It's like you win one, you get one dollar, four dollars, ten grand, a million, and then the big jackpot. That's a big gap. <laughs> like, when you went from one, to, one to four to ten grand, like, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's. Oh, yeah, it's weird gaps in the lottery. Yeah, there is. I said, that's Which, I mean, I guess you pay so little to get into it. it but Keston, one, four. No, I ten agree grand. with you. <laughs> what, I agree the with you. The jump is astronomical. Well, like, what? I agree four, with you. They can, at the least, hundreds, right? they can at least they can at least give you some enough for gas. What is a cat money. in Florida that won? Yeah. yeah. That's one. always somebody it's, it's in always Florida, Florida or Cali. It's yeah. always one of the two. I bet you some bayou motherfucker that's just down there. I bet you it's somebody yeah. that already <laughs> has a <laughs> I'm always gonna buy. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, go buy that boat. I always want. Like, he sound like that dude off Water Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You let her die another day. You like to see homos naked? What? <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I used to. The guy that why you make it? The guy that one that probably eating on Gator right now. Yeah. And I didn't win all of it. I just need. A million. Just give me and you know shit. that's that's what irritates me so because it be these people winning these big, big jackpots. Big jackpots. You cashed like, out at what eight seventy five is what you cash. I think so. Eight hundred seventy five. Yeah, that's million. Crazy money. You know how much money that that's is. That's what you cash out at. Yeah. Yeah. Eight hundred like, after, after tax. Yeah. After tax. No, no, that's before tax. No, no that's after no, that's tax. tax. It that's was tax. one point four eight billion dollars. No, but what I'm saying is that that when they the the cash out option is like half of it, and then you still got to pay taxes on that. So, oh, you, so, not so the oh. so the cash out option is like half of what the full jackpot is. The only way you can get the full jackpot is if you take the annuity payments. So then, after you hit the cash out, they take another forty percent off of that. That's after taxes. Which so I'm really, you okay end up. With that. I might huh? be okay with payments. No. Bruh, I don't care if they reduce it down to one yeah. percent. I'm still getting free money. If you, it's a one point five billion. Okay, give me a million out of it. You're I don't still care. Four hundred and thirty-eight no, million that's dollars. What you're ready to say. I'm not. I'm not mad. Anything over a hundred. Don't, I mean, don't get it twisted. I'm not mad. Million, I'm pretty happy about it. Anything <laughs> over two dollars, I'm happy. Like <laughs> so you know how much you for a hundred, a hundred. I'm probably not gonna cash out because, like I said, that's a lot of money that you just get over time period. Let me tell you how much money. That is. I'm about to cash out. I was about to say the only reason I'm out. cashing out is because there. I might die tomorrow. There's a truck I want to go buy. There's a house I want to go buy. There's <laughs> a house. I'm going to buy an island. That's buy an island money, bro. I'm buying an island, is a island helicopter, and a out. private that is island money. I got to move out island of here. Money. I'm moving out of here. I'm buying my own spot. I'm gonna have like 500 doing, courts. I ain't doing nothing but nothing all day. Whatever I want to do. Hey, bro, what you doing? Came to go but say nothing. Hey, bro, you trying to go to Australia today? Australia? Well, they well, got paid for you to work. Come yeah, on. What you working for, bro? Come on, I got you. What they pay you at work? You can say 400 bucks. Else. I give you Australia. a million, but you said Australia. You went with Australia. I'm not going to Australia. Let I want to see a kangaroo. Do you know what else is down there? I'm not Have getting you? everything. No, no, no. A I'm getting as big as this table. It's I'm this table. Cause. I'm not getting out the airport, bro. I just oh, want to see. <laughs> I'm, you know how rich I am, bro? We landing where the kangaroo is. I'm going to look out the window and be like, oh, cool. All right, bro, let's go. <laughs> so you, look. So you say you're going to get off. You're going to get to the airport. You're going to get on the helicopter, fly around, see, oh, kangaroos. Land back at the we're, airport hold on, hold and on. take right back home. Frivolous hey, money, bro. Think about, I know hey, whatever. think about who we're talking about. Adrian's Iron Man at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Adrian's Case Iron Man. He's flying over there by himself. He's flying over the kangaroos. Oh yeah, if we, yeah. I'm but you know too. what? Though I'm coming with you though, because you got that much money. I'm like. I'm fucking going with you too. Hell yeah, why not? I was like, just make sure the the, the whole helicopter Army. was like. 
cleaned out first. Yeah. Them, them spiders like to get in like crazy places. Snakes. If I see one Bugs. giant spider. I'm jumping out the window. We burn in a quarter of an acre. <laughs> <laughs> If one of the big motherfuckers is on the air helicopter that we're flying in, but I'm just like, you know what? I had a good life. What's, what's the movie? And I'm gone. <laughs> spiders on the plane. Fuck it. I'm done. Spiders <laughs> on a helicopter. <laughs> you ain't got much room. You ain't got much room at all. That's a quick movie. Whole, oh, I'm fighting Spider Man. <laughs> whole Long movie way. is Camden running around the inside of the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, motherfucker. Hold on, the, have you seen Jungle to Jungle? I have. When he see the tarantula, he do it like that. <laughs> Run off in the opposite direction, screaming. Somebody help! Oh. help. Yeah. That's the worst fear. That'd ever. be the one day I hear some random scream from <laughs> from out of the atmosphere. <laughs> help! Who's <laughs> that? Dead. <laughs> Yeah, I'm screaming too, boy. I'm hollering. I'm, I'm bitch screaming, boy. <laughs> I'm throwing a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck gonna help you? It's sure gonna be me. It don't hey, matter. Hey, yeah. look, the I hat is essence. Adrian, you could be in every other country in the world. You could have been in Africa and threw that hat. You might have got some help. You in Australia? No, you get nothing. Muggs is gonna see that hat and they're like, where did that hat come from? It's like. <laughs> No, them Aussies though, they be like, crikey, <laughs> somebody, he needs help. <laughs> you know, them motherfuckers up, they gangsters. But they don't know, they'll, they'll they don't know about the, time, they right? don't know about the black signal though. They might, they just might. It's Maybe. worldwide now, people I know now. Look, there was a meme where the cap was the sun, bro. I saw that <laughs> meme. I believe that when the sun comes over the horizon where our people are, they will come. <laughs> Not to Australia though, the most gonna look at like, no, nah, that hat came from Australia. No, nah. <laughs> they can see the difference. No, nah. that's, <laughs> that's the Australia. Tell you what, if nah. I did have that much money, I'm building a city strictly for gaming. Like every day is I a, he's, a, a he's about to be Acon all over again. Look at you building the village. <laughs> I love it. No, but okay. It's gonna be on. like Ready Player One. Yeah, Where everybody makes their money in the game and plays the game. And yeah, your currency is what you make in the game. This is an interesting thing now because now you really do have Batman, Iron Man type of money. Like you could become a superhero if you wanted you to. Could, but would you? No. 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 <laughs> I'd probably be a villain I before I became a superhero. What do you say? I'd become a villain before I came a superhero. Live long enough to see itself turn to a villain. Oh. I've been there. Right. I don't like these it's people at, anyway. At, it's a true statement. At best, I'm gonna be a, a anti hero. I'm gonna be a Deadpool. I was gonna say that. Like I'm gonna go around just killing mine. dictators and like that's gonna be me. Yeah. yeah. If I, I had that is not if I decide to be no, I anything. Any dictator listening to this, please. He's for real. I'm not, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not killing nobody, but I'm just chilling. That's what you're doing. Shit. I think chilling. if I could. Oh no, no. I, what I'm really gonna be doing. We gonna have. I'm gonna have my studio. I'm gonna have full time podcast, my, baby. My my shit is gonna be looking like Tyler Perry shit. Like oh, we're they talking pay about full on like movie studio type shit with the like half no multi million dollar recorder studio like in the back of the lot. Like that's gonna be me. I got a camper with a whole cam my name a on camper, it. bro. A camper we got a name. compound, bro. Everybody got yeah, their own said, avenue like, in a fifty <laughs> fifty this acre to, wood, bro. I got. I'm a camper. I'm gonna have like luxury condos for people to stay in <laughs> he on the lot. He wants to like, put his name on it. If that's what he wants. Oh, that's what dream. it is. He just he want his name <laughs> on the door one, or something. Yeah, he's the one. That, you get your camper with your name on it, dog. <laughs> that's like hell yeah. That's all he wanted <laughs> every hey, every day. You got motherfucking Popeyes chicken in that motherfucker with biscuits. <laughs> Delivered <That's good>. fresh. <laughs> Fresh, <laughs> steaming right out of the box. You know what, Dash? I'll put a Popeyes on the lot for you. How about that? <laughs> that motherfucker be dry mouth every day. <laughs> we got we got restaurants on the lot, boy. What we picking to eat? <laughs> boy, that's a that kind of money though. Stupid yeah. ass pipe dream. Nah. That kind, one point five billion. I'm having a chef. I'm having a, a whole kitchen experience oh, where absolutely. I can cook and I'm getting a chef. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh yeah. I'm not like top tier commercial kitchen. Yeah, definitely. So are y'all quitting Never. immediately? Or are you going to be low key about it? No, I get my two uh, weeks notice. 
I'm a, yeah. I was about to say I'm gonna be low key. But y'all brave because if I was actually working for somebody, I'm gonna <laughs> D- depends on the company. I was about to say depends on the Wal- company. Wall, never mind. Depends. Like the, Walgreens oh, wasn't as bad. The, TT Auto, the people that got oh, the I would have went in there for you for them. The boy that got oh. the Cortez singing. Oh, Cortez <laughs> singing. I am quitting today. <laughs> yep. I know, but if I would have been at TTI, oh, oh, would have been glorious. Uh, I probably would keep it low key too. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep my, I'm gonna get my I'm two weeks. I probably, I probably keep, keep it low key. I say I'm, now, like, Arth- I don't want everybody to know. I say Arthrex and Walgreens. I would have gave my. I actually probably would have. I would have worked a month, but that's just because I was. I would be getting all my money in order, and I would be go ahead buy my property, buy where I'm gonna live at, all that good stuff. You know, getting my money like divvied up how it's supposed to be. And then I'm gonna quit. As I'm gonna soon quit. as the direct deposit. Yeah, that's what I'm out. But I was about to say, right but that's only for. Have it in hand, it's over with. <laughs> but I was like, that's just Walgreens and Arthrex, though. Them the only two I'm respecting that much. I'm, I'm gonna be TTI. In- I'm, I'm gonna end the year. End the year. I'm start school. No, no. January okay. oh, first. Shout out to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna finish up the year. I'm gonna be in somebody's house. You ain't gonna. You ain't gonna do shit at work. You I'm know that, right? Fuck no. oh, no, that oh, too. What's the no. point in being there, but bro? That's Look, that's, like, that's, that's I was like, matter of fact, if they fire me, that's better. <laughs> Shit. I'm going like, to be in somebody's <laughs> house halfway done hanging their TV. My phone's going to go off. I'm going to look at it. Four hundred and something million dollars. All right, well, have a nice day. I'm just going to leave. All right, can you show the TV? <laughs> <laughs> no, I will walk out with the TV. This shit's mine now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude. Nah, you gotta, you gotta drop it. It's more gangster. Nah, you yeah. gotta drop that bit. Yeah, that's about to say because at that, that point you can buy twenty more of those TVs. Like exactly. easy. I'm gonna drop their TV just to inconvenience them, <laughs> but then I'll Venmo them the money for the TV. I'll be like, just wait another week. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's gonna be a crazy story for them. Yeah, so this guy he was mounting on my TV and he just dropped the TV and, and walked, walked off. off like the fuck. And then Venmo <laughs> me like two thousand dollars. <laughs> It was twice worth the TV was worth, but I was still, it, right? I'm not, I'm not complaining. I ain't even getting the company van. I'm just gonna leave it where I left it. I'm gonna leave the keys nah, in it. I'm gonna lock what? it up. I'm gonna call with you, with you. I might take the van. I might just drive it off a bridge or something and walk home. Whatever, whatever bridge is closest to my house, that's where it is going off of. And I'm gonna just walk to the house. Nah, you know, I'd probably just drive it to like the closest Nissan dealership and be like, y'all got some GTRs. I wanna trade this van in for some GTRs. <laughs> Best Buy, I pay you how much? 200,000? That's nothing. Another one. <laughs> and then I'll write them a check for the van. I'll be <laughs> another one. <laughs> drive out to the But you know, GTR. I've always said, like, once again, if I was, when I was at Planet Fitness and thinking about it, I say, I'd probably buy Planet Fitness and then pop up and be like, all right, I'm your new boss. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, nigga, damn. I just show up the next day. It'd be like a hostile takeover type situation. <laughs> They've been here. Oh, snap, we're being bought out. And then I just pop up. It's me. It is me. I love here. motherfucker. <laughs> it's me. He like you're undercover fired, boss. You're fired, you're fired. <laughs> he came in just to see everybody lacking. Like, you know what? Mm. I like that idea. I would pull some petty shit and buy a movie theater just so I can go watch movies every weekend. Ooh. And you could do that. Oh yeah, yeah. whole theater. Whole. Just, I'm talking about the whole this, theater. Say, <laughs> matter of fact, you done you done gutted out all the other seats. You done made your own like luxury <laughs> recliner with yep. refrigerators. Cam's theater, right? <laughs> they got Cam's number, room. Number, number ten is for his only. <laughs> it's set to the same temperature year round. <laughs> <laughs> He's an chair. He's got a random oh, lock on it. It was I never like thought about that. That'd be dope though. Yeah. Golly, that actually. Be and you, I was about to say, and like, you put your seat like in the perfect spot. Because yeah, dead still gonna... ass center of the middle. Nobody's fucking around me. I ain't around you, bro. Huh? <laughs> but you, you got to make enough seats for no, your this friends. Is just for me. But you, you, you gotta make mine. Enough... There's ten theaters, and I'm gonna make some for y'all. But I'm gonna have mine. Yeah, you <laughs> got like four hundred million dollars. We all gonna watch together. We'll go to a different theater. Oh. oh, so you got one theater for you, and then and one like theater for friends. There's like theater screens in the damn theater. I got theater. you. I yeah. got you. Yeah, no, I got one for friends. I wasn't thinking that far, but that, one for I me. Mean, that's dope, though. That's, <laughs> I, I, was, I, I, I was just thinking like what section on you? popcorn maker and everything I was just in there. I'm talking about no, just be. You got shit all beside you. No, that's everything's what, beside you. Like I was saying, the drink fountain would be literally like right here. Oh yeah, maybe like I don't. I don't want to refill it in the perfect like middle middle. Maybe like six Just chairs. right there, Dash. You know, and see Jeffrey. And then, <laughs> and then and then bean bags for people to come sit in bean bags on us today. <laughs> Jeffrey. 
<laughs> and I'm We're also going to build in the seat. I'm going to build that motherfucker as a toilet as well. <laughs> oh, <see now. laughs> That theater gonna be stanky. That's terrible. No, it's gonna it, go it's gonna it's gonna have like no. the, the airplane suck, shit. The, the yeah, the vacuum oh. sucker. It's just <laughs> we gonna, ass get stuck. Look, oh, <laughs> I was about to say we gonna get that random call from Hey yo, hey yo, can y'all come up to the theater and get me out? What you mean get you out? He like you locked the middle of the movie. Said, oh, what you lock, You locked the doors up? It was like nah. See, I kind of I didn't want to get up, so I sat. I played God. <laughs> I uh, probably put one in that theater. Put a toilet in that theater. I don't know if I actually. pause the movie. <laughs> that's how you. All right, I'm pausing. That's how you get. The, that's how you get them. Hey, pause the movie. <laughs> it's like, bro, put up a, a random, privacy screen. A random grunt in the dark, just right. and nobody can. See, you just hear it. <laughs> If you turn your movie theater seat into a lazy boy shitter, I'm gonna need you to make sure that model only stays in the single Camden theater. Because if we in there watch the movie and we hear you, uh, no, <laughs> the no, random the plop, fuck? the random plop of poop in the water. <laughs> Boop. Hey, do, I, do I have that diarrhea, boy? That's that word. <laughs> uh, no. Here's the thing. You're gonna push the button, a little little screen, this shit's gonna come up, a little room's gonna encapsulate you, then you do your business. Okay, is this matter. like this is like a malfunction about to happen? Is this like oh, something I got Adrian that, building it? It's gonna be good. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> if I build it, it'll be like a shower curtain rod on some hydraulic motors that comes up. It'll kind of work for privacy, but Hydra- it's not great. Wait, hold on, you're using terrible We got money for better materials. <laughs> I make things work with plastic. We, we don't have to go to DG, yo. We, we ain't got to go to Dollar General. I'm a good MacGyver. I'm not a rocket scientist. <laughs> I don't know what to do with all the money. <laughs> you don't really know. He just knows how to. I know how to, to make things together. work. He's like, he's like King of the Hill when he did that, uh, that super grill. God damn it, Bobby. He's <laughs> Adrian's gonna make expensive stuff for for like the basic thing. Like he's gonna make a he's gonna get a carbon fiber shower rod. That's that's what, that's what he's gonna do. That's what the money's gonna go to. It's not gonna be your normal like metal aluminum shower rod. He's just like, well, Camden gave me extra money. I guess carbon fiber, <laughs> carbon fiber everything oh, with really Tesla <laughs> engines on the hydraulic pumps. This is really this is fucking fancy. <laughs> And titanium rings for the shower curtain. <laughs> it's like that's gonna be Adrian. I'm gonna go all out. It's gonna be really nice, but it's, it's gonna He's be remedial. The shower curtain. <laughs> He's, He's got the heavy duty shower curtain instead of just the regular plastic one. It's the heavy duty. Well, yeah, top I, I am building. A, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have me a whole movie theater. That's, so can, I've never thought about that, but that's pretty cool though. Hell yeah! That way the movies are always coming. I can always go see it, and then it still can make its own money because it's got all the other theaters to be going. I like it. That's that's not a bad idea. It's gonna be on the compound because I'm gonna have a big ass compound. Now that's something I would definitely do. Have a compound. I dig an underground yeah. tunnel between my house Cam's and the world. movie theater where I could drive a golf cart, so I ain't even got to like inconvenience myself with traffic. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> just the <laughs> elevator and a random golf cart just sitting. I'm gonna buy a tram. I'm gonna build that motherfucker to go to all these different cities because I hate to fly. So I just have my own personal tram that goes. They gonna have a bullet train. Yep. Phew. <laughs> that motherfucker gonna be flying. Who's driving it? Let me drive it. Oh, the God. train? Yeah. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a train. Boy, it's more than two. It's, it's like if it's a bullet train, this hand scan. You know that motherfucker. Dash, yeah, trains are easy. Dash, it's like go stop or three, no. three hours. Ago, dog. Where the fuck are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> Dash be like, hey, I forgot where you said you wanted to go. <laughs> this weed you where got we me is to go? stupid right now. <laughs> <laughs> you bought me some shit. <laughs> Hit it with with that Obama. No, I got you that fucking Nova Scotia shit. Like that shit's like in the tip top peak (laughs) where where it grows off a damn bear shit. (laughs) Ew, I love that. That shit get you. It's fucking on the the mountain. (laughs) That little little bridge hanging off. The wind blowing. Grows every ten years. It's only watered by (laughs) glacier spring water. That has a one drop every. That's high quality H two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Kessie. What was your surprise conversation? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so, 
like I said, the question had nothing to do with anything, any of the other topics. But the question is, if you could pick two superpowers, what would they be? Now, the rules are Damn. that it can't be reality breaking powers. It can't be magic. Witchcraft. Yeah. And it can't be anything that can be used to control somebody else or to affect somebody else. It has to be just like your power. Not so like you couldn't be like Professor X. Not alter reality. Not controlling somebody. And what was the third one? It can't be like magic, like witchcraft or sorcery or anything like that. How long we got? <laughs> <laughs> like fifteen minutes. <laughs> What's the? Uh, I mean, probably flight. And I mean, am I just a regular guy? Am I, am, am I an actual superhero? I just what power? No, something? just your powers. Definitely if you want to be a superhero, you like a fucking be a bird, anyway. So I figured you'd take flight. <laughs> God damn it, y'all! <laughs> Where's my fork at? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking throw a biscuit. Where my biscuit at? I fucking throw. Yeah, that motherfucker got that be flying through the goddamn sky. Damn, look at Dash go. <laughs> fucking KBS chest. It was his biscuit. I wish I had one. Uh, <laughs> he said he looked like the vulture in across the spider verse. Cast such your I'm sorry, it was there. It, or was, it was not there. The layup was there. He said that was not there. <laughs> the alley oop was there. It wasn't there. Flight. Sorry, Adrian. Your, 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 your uh, that motherfucker almost went inside. Flight and what? You said two, right? Yeah, two powers. Damn, we get two? Oh, two is hard. Yeah, two is really hard. Uh, <laughs> That's what I thought would be interesting. I tell you, I know what mines are. Super strength and super intelligence. I would say telekinesis. Super strength and super intelligence? I does I'm definitely going to do super strength because at that point, I can also run fast and just jump and almost seem like I'm flying. Uh, but that's how like the whole, work. yeah, yeah. I don't want to run though. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> but but that way I can handle like the. Cause I was gonna say super speed, but I'm like, if I'm super strong, like the whole, I can just run and be kind of fast yeah. too. See, it's so hard time, not, not to have. Jump. It's so hard not to have super intelligence because you want to be a dumbass motherfucker trying to beat people up. Like, I don't. Why am I fighting somebody? I don't fuck. Like, oh well, I mean somebody. That's, that's yeah, somebody gonna like, you though. Because at this point, if I'm, if I'm. If I have superpowers, I'm an anti hero. All the bitches. <laughs> all the bitches. Now, when That's you say super intellect, are we talking like. Okay, your superpower so is su super intellect? Like, talking that like is your super Spider Man power? level or like Iron Man level? But, like, but what that's level like, of but you're intelligence. Saying superpowers, like. So, because you got natural, like, there was a natural. Like, they were you're talking about like Reed Richards is like naturally intelligent. Like, yeah, I'm he's the smart as hell. I'm talking about like. I I could run circles around Reed Richards type super intelligence. Mm. Like you get you you have unlocked the mysteries of the universe basically yeah, with your mind. I potentially could, yeah. So backup question here. Mm. Can I be as smart as these without that being one of my superpowers? Nope. <laughs> you can, but that's too easy. Say no. Just say no. Well, what I'm saying, because Reed Richards no. isn't super intelligence, no. so just say no. Oh, this is so hard because I hate to, when you I you have I, to be the intelligence. I hate that when you I are. get asked this question yeah. because I never know. What to I don't pick. know about the second one. I kind of know say, what I would. Pick. You have to be for the sake of the argument. If you're not going to use it as a superpower, you have to be the intelligence you are currently. Okay, let me ask you a question. Uh -huh. Outside of the realm of this particular conversation, we're going to bring in another character. Is Rick Chan Sanchez considered? Like, oh, super smart. Like, is that a superpower for him? Is his level of intellect considered a superpower? I would say no. Ooh, so I can be as smart as hell? Okay, so, facts. <laughs> that changes my ability. Even if you're that smart, what are you going to do? I mean, are you, you going to change things? I mean, yeah, because look, if, if I pick, like, let's say invulnerability okay. and lightning ability okay then if i'm like as smart as rick sanchez let's say when he was tiny 
and he was a pickle. He, like, took the musculature of rats and turned them into extensions of his body, essentially making an Iron Man suit out of raw muscle. Okay. So instead, why couldn't I use my intellect to create a synthetic muscle that I can communicate with via a thing that reads my emotions or whatever mm-hmm. and create, like, a an exoskeleton of Hulk muscle but I'm invulnerable anyways. It's just adding strength you to You say me. invulnerable. Yeah. Yes. And what do you invulnerable for? What do you mean? Like, okay, here's the, the superpower. Here's the are, we, are we doing invulnerable, uh, invulnerable like, like uh, juggernaut type shit? Well, that's what I was about to say. So, yes, that's whatever a superpower. Power, to, who you to make it a little bit easier, Everyone. whatever power, why, why, whatever power you're going say. for is your best example of that power. But that's why I said why, because... If I'm talking about my power and my everyday Joe, then fight and tell this is all I really need because I'm not gonna fight nobody. The fuck for what? What am I start trouble for? But well, I have superpowers if we were not that. Exactly. So why would this be? <laughs> I'm not gonna point? be a hero. What the fuck? I'm not gonna steal money. I this man power. said he all might and he's a school teacher. This dude <laughs> said he ain't fighting nobody. Don't ask him for no extra school assignments. He exactly. ain't going. Villains well, was, are out there. I was about if to I say if go I, somewhere, I'll just fly somewhere. If I need something, I'll tell Kenny. I was about to say if I had <laughs> super strength and super intelligence, I'm not being a hero. I am all for me and my family. <laughs> oh, I'm going out how to make day. money. <laughs> so you so you're Dexter Laboratory. You're just gonna you're just gonna start building shit, essentially, right? To make things easier for people. For the most part. Okay. Can I have the power of the cosmos or no? What do you mean? Like, give me an example. I'm like, like on some civil service shit. No. Shit. Okay. What would you change if you had the power? What are you going to do with that power? The fuck you mean what I'm going to do? Yeah, it is are badass. You, somebody going to fuck with me. Who, who, who's <laughs> fucking with you now? Case closed. Because I mean that... <laughs> because I mean that kind of borders on the line of like reality breaking and somewhat uh, sorcery. Okay. Y'all not thinking casually. Y'all gonna be chilling by y'all damn business. Flame on. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> chilling. I could play, I could do like a transformation. We could do like a Wonder yep. Twins type yeah. deal. Shoot, shoot, shoot. <laughs> Form of pail of water. <laughs> I've always been a Fuck fan of shit. the, I've always been a fan of gravity. So like gravity type powers. You can do that. So I think about the earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> but I've always had a big love for the power of magnetism. Also, I was just about to say like that. big. To like be I'm honest, I figured that, that was gonna be one of yours off rip. Uh, yeah, like to be like Magneto. I really like the power of magnetism. It's so op. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, is. it really is. Like it melts and everything. So if I had to pick two. To not be like super strength or whatever, whatnot. Uh, the healing factor and magnetism. Okay. What was yours? I can't think of a second one. What was the first one? The first one was super strength. Oh, what was yours again? Uh, invulnerability. And I think I said lightning. Did I say lightning? You just said lightning. Yeah. I was thinking lightning. Mm, I'm just going to wear rubber. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a pack of uh, magnums. <laughs> Uh, of course. What? Of course. What? I don't even know. I, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Trojan. <laughs> Only you, Dad. Now, when you say electricity, we're talking about static shock <laughs> style, or are we talking about uh, live wire? That black lightning. Or black lightning. Like, we're talking about that. I'm talking mm-hmm. like storm, o- like omega level mutant. Like. Power of lightning, I thought like black static lightning shot, storm like. But I thought black lightning was stronger than storm. Yeah, when so it comes to like lightning, the storm can just call on, lightning. basically destroy a planet because she can. <laughs> do, she can conjure up so much shit. <laughs> but I think black <laughs> omega level. But no. black lightning has like what, like the black lightning. I mean, it's like the strongest lightning, isn't it? Like that's. Well, couldn't static say, static's ability like also was like magnetism, wasn't it? Or no, just electromagnetism. Just electromagnetism. I don't know. Statics was a l- was crazy because he was able to fly on the that's saucer. What I, I was gonna mm-hmm. say that's what I was thinking about when I was thinking of electricity. I, I was like, about to say because he was able to, like you said, make like electromagnet and 
was able to fly and different things like that. Oh well, yeah, but I was about to say I think he. Well, I mean, I think Black Lightning kind of works on the same way. Like he, well, he can travel yeah. through wires. Like he, yeah, like he can actually become a current. Well, those dudes like electro. Yeah, but, yeah, but like, yeah, he's on he's on some electro shit. Like Black Lightning is stupid ass strong. Uh huh. Like stupid strong. You did, oh yeah, Ooh. but Black Lightning, no, Black Lightning is, t- yeah, is Black so Lightning slept is on, bro. <laughs> yeah, he is. Really slept on. As in, I knew he was slept on, but I don't know his power like yeah. like that. I remember him being. I, I know he's him. really strong. I just don't know his powers like that. He's but he put Static to shame. <laughs> I love Static. I don't say it. Hold on. You hold on now. Really? Hold on now. Really? Hold the Static. Look. Older static. I, look, yeah, I older know, static. I ain't, think, no, I, look, ain't nothing to play with. Look, I know, hey. man. I know. Black Black Lightning hit different. Black. Older static ain't nothing to play with, uh, bro. Yo, great dress static. Yo, exactly. yo. <laughs> great dress static ain't nothing to play with, man. I'm not saying that. dude's hard. Look, I don't get the Black Lightning. Don't black. sleep on him, man. Debate right there. So, Put Lightning the and what was your other one? Invulnerability. Invulnerability. That, that's tough, though. That's pretty good. It's hard not to choose in vulnerability. It really is. It's like luck. <laughs> like, who? There we go. I want that power. Luck. The domino effect. Yeah, domino effect. Yeah, domino. That kind of borders on sorcery, in my opinion. Does it? Because oh, okay. I mean, it's not. It's it's affecting reality in that point. Oh shit! Nope. Oh. On to the next. You said flying already. Yeah, but then I thought about luck, and I was like, that's a really good power. <laughs> Everything's looking behind me. <laughs> you see this? I, I dodge a bullet, didn't even try. I do. It was really hard for me not to <laughs> pick shape shifting. Ooh, Beast Boy. That's, that's, that seems shape-shifting. painful. I I'm not gonna lie. I love shape. I love the shape shifting idea, and I love. He's a ditto. and I love super speed. You a ditto? Oh yeah, man, was, like hold I up! I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of lightning. Super being speed. able to no no not super v uh tr- to transport teleport like teleport yeah like night crawler so in See, I almost picked that one though I thought about it too, yeah fight seem to be more fun yeah See, I almost picked I almost picked that because I love the teleportation aspect like if I can instant transport somewhere you know how broken that is <laughs> like you can fun be in the seems, same space fun just seems fun though but I also thought about permutation. Like, like Kitty, oh okay. Kitty Pride yeah. or old boy from uh, My Hero. Yeah, you can, sh- you can phase through shit. Mm-hmm. Lemillion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's about to be some hard start, training. You better go through. I started to say Rogue. And then you said you had, you can't mess with other people. Well, no, Rogue only steals other powers. Well, no, no, but that's, but that's, that's affected that, somebody yeah. else. That's oh, yeah. you bitch. You make this shit so hard. <laughs> <laughs> that was the point. <laughs> That's what I said. To make it a little bit easier, you get to use like your greatest example of I'm still going that power. Healing factor and other one. I need a I like third because now I want nope. a racer's power. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> Kester won't let me have it because it's, it's a. You're like Bender. You got two. two I max. know, right? Two max. Well, hell, like Could I, you imagine a racer I'll, having uh, teleportation powers? Though? Jesus Christ. Mm. She, huh? Say, could you imagine racer head having tele- teleportation powers? Oh Jesus <laughs> Christ! He broken yeah. along with his his scarf broken. He ain't the teacher then no more. Broken. <laughs> he's number one. <laughs> number if he one. had teleportation, he's number one. Yeah. Easy. No question. All might no, all might ain't got nothing for that. You man. know what? Fuck the teleportation. If he has super strength, just think if he had all might strength with his powers. Or well, not even strength, just the durab- durability. Man, of, like. Nah. That's not fair though. Like you do <laughs> now if he hit a motherfucker with no powers, yo, he's killed him and what it with no with Inst- no power. Instantly became one punch man. Hey, instantly. <laughs> At that point he's killing humans. He's just killing regular ass people. <laughs> Oh my! You walk on and just look at him, and instantly nothing happens. We punch him in the chest. He's like, mm, "You messed up." <laughs> <laughs> just flick him, <laughs> break every bone in his chest. <laughs> <laughs> instantly shrink down to his uh his other form. It's just, I mean, honestly, if I was to have a power though, just saying, I would want all for ones. Or dude from Heroes, anybody he gets around, he takes their power. Oh yeah, <laughs> fucking. Bro. That's what I think. You're unstoppable. Bro. You're unstoppable. But that's part of the reason why I was like, yeah, let's t- 
take away the because that, that one Rogue's power or you know Rogue all my all I mean I'm sticking to all that uh, him healing factor and, uh, and magnetism I'm sticking to it him and Professor X's power is the ones that was like mm, I need to take them off the table because that's just OP right off the gate. Mm. Professor X can turn a plant into vegetables. <laughs> I, want, I just and want then, you to think of that. And they had that weak death in uh, 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 Doctor, Doctor Strange. Strange. Yeah, when he cracked the net. Like weak. Yeah. That was terrifying. I mean, yeah. Oh, well, that yeah, wasn't. But she I mean, but she didn't crack his neck. She split his face into. Yeah. Like, oh, was it? Oh. This went one way. This went the other way. Oh, okay. okay. I must have. I must have watched it again because I thought it was just like I that. Just show. No, we thought. I thought it was too, but somebody slowed it down. They showed like it's literally. Um, mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I mean, but still, for someone like him, though, that's just not a. Yeah, that a, was. That's not a, a death that I would think. He would have. Not for him. Like if it, if he would have lost, I would have been okay. Like if it was a if it was a battle that he lost, but the fact that she just came in and. Come on, I mean, she was disrespecting sex. everybody in that but scene, though. It, that's what you're saying. It just showed the the power of Wanda. Yeah, I mean she she beat him on his own his own. Plan. And that's what that's like what I said. I would have appreciated if she court. if she lost. As long as he put up a fight, I would have been okay with it. But the fact that it was he, like he, he didn't, didn't put, put up a fight. fight. Yeah. No, nah, I'm still but upset. No fight. <laughs> I'm upset because <laughs> Marvel gave us all these characters we've been waiting to see. We've been waiting to see them, Captain Carter. Mr. Fantastic, Charles Xavier, yo, we we in here, Black Bolt, we in here, and all of them are seen and did in less than four minutes and thirty eight <laughs> seconds. Like, <laughs> yo, she turned my man into spaghetti. Uh ultimate disrespect. <laughs> Every time we get so close to having some, I have not watched war. that movie again because of that sh- that scene. I'm like, yo, you gave me all that hype, and then you give me this hype, and then you just take it trash you, you, you take it like you take it like it's my last biscuit like i don't understand <laughs> why you ultimate want to do trolls. that to me <laughs> ultimate <laughs> trolls because <laughs> they knew what they was doing by showing us all that yeah, they knew what they hype. was doing Absolutely. it's like we're gonna oh they're gonna come for this they're gonna but they're gonna be so mad when we kill them all <laughs> in four minutes <laughs> Oh, they're gonna be and so Mr. bad. Mr. Fantastic, he didn't even get a chance to throw no fist or nothing. Nothing, like nothing. All he got to do a swing in. <laughs> that, that man introduced somebody for them to die, and then immediately died after that. <laughs> and you finally give me Black Bolt, which is one of my favorite Marvel characters ever. Oh, God, dude, it's so upsetting. And his death, I think his death was probably almost as bad as uh, Mr. Fantastic. It was worse. Because <laughs> you. If I'm not mistaken, he like he was panicking. It wasn't like he was screaming because he was trying to attack out of his lip. He was panicking and blew his own brain out. Mm. Nah, Captain Carter, that was the most. There was too much disrespect. She said, "I could do this all." Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Wanda said, "What now? Shit. What you say?" Shit, your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Like Pick yourself up off the floor. <laughs> oh shit! And you know what made what made it so bad? Somebody pointed out that it was like with her, with her trying to chase the woman, chase uh, what's her name? America Chavez <coughs> is that her name? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, chasing her just to get to a reality where she could steal some her kids. Basically, it was like, why didn't she just go find a reality where her, where she had already died and just took those kids? I was like, that makes so much sense. Ah, uh, movie completely ruined now. Nope, <laughs> makes no sense anymore. Uh, but it's I'm about to fix it for you. Fast forward to across the Spider Verse, and remember, Miguel said he tried to take over one of his characters' places, but it caused the multiverse to disintegrate in front of his eyes. Every time he went there to take the place of his dead self, the world will disrupt and it will just like cease to exist. Yeah, but that's Sony's. Uh, Are we really that? listening to Sony's? Cause Sony also gave us Venom. Remember uh, that. They also, you know what's funny? Did they? What? There was a scene in Across the Spider Verse where they said, <laughs> Gwen said, uh, "Yeah, it's a movie about." Uh, oh no, no, no! The Spider Man is like a uh, like a vampire good guy, and Miles says, "I'd pay good money to see that." Sony, we didn't pay good money to see Morbius. <laughs> yeah, I saw what you tried to do there. You, you tried to sneak that in there. I got you. We wasn't impressed. <laughs> Not even a little bit. 
I'm really waiting to see what they do with this craving. They gonna fuck it up. Sony, this is your last chance. If not, sell yourself to Disney. Until y'all come out with that new controller, because I'm waiting on that. <laughs> you see the new controller? Hey. I'm I'm very optimist. Uh it's not gonna work right, but I'm know. excited. I just don't know about craving. But that's for next discussion, I guess. Yeah. I just Next time mm-hmm. on Dragon Ball Z, will Camden grow his hair? No. <laughs> will Dash Wait. finally take that final swallow? Yes. Pause. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, I wasn't going to pause on that one. <laughs> Thank you, man. Oh. I didn't think about that. Oh, Lord. He was with the quickness to save you, boy. <laughs> he did save me. He did save me. Because he was about oh. to be like... <laughs> <laughs> He was about to do the swallow. I was not going to do the swallow. <laughs> oh, man. But thank you, Patrick. Yeah, oh, Patrick coming in clutch. <laughs> so clutch. But anyways, y'all. <laughs> we love y'all. Hey, in the comments, let us know what two superpowers you would want. Yeah, that would be, yeah. Who would win, Black Lightning or Static Shock? I don't know. I think I switched mine to Lightning. So oh, super well, strength just, and lightning? Yeah, I just do those two. I fucks with it. So you're Thor. Yeah, hey, Respect. Yeah. Yeah, hey. Hey. <laughs> well, Thor's is based all off his hammer. His is coming from his hands. So Yeah, I mean, but there was that little one movie where I'm black he didn't Thor. have his hammer when mm. he was fighting against his sister. Are yeah, you, black Thor. Are you like Jamal? <laughs> <laughs> I'm blood <Luthor. laughs> L.A. apostrophe Thor. <laughs> now you're Luthor. <laughs> man. <laughs> Luther man. <laughs> oh, yeah, stupid. He put the dash in it. Oh, my God. You put the hyphen in it. Oh, hilarious. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all coming back. See y'all soon. <laughs> I'm Kester. I'm Camden. I'm Adrian. And I'm Dash. And I'm Patrick. Ooh, <laughs> and we out.